Yo, hit that like button for your boy if you want me to go straight to the point. Hello. Guys, if you need any help at all finding your values, setting up the Zen, etc., etc., I will be putting the link below of my Podia website. You can always go and subscribe over there. Over there, you can get one-on-ones, any help at all, any questions you have, you can always DM me on my inbox and I'll make sure to help you. It's like 24-7. You also get anti-recoil spreadsheets for free and it's always going to be updated. The spreadsheets have um, multiplayer war zone values and I will be having cold wars spreadsheet as well in there but yeah it's always gonna keep updating as long as you stay there as a membership all right and also you could get to play with me whenever i go live and such and such all right anyways make sure you subscribe and i appreciate this all right guys so i've been hearing for some people the zen does not work for them but everything works completely fine in all consoles and on the pc okay so make sure that the zen studio is up to date the one that i have right now is the v1.2 point one beta 119 okay this is the software version okay this is the program the actual the actual program itself and the firmware is this one right here on the bottom which is the 2.1.0 beta 47 make sure you have this two updated the firmware and the software that way everything works perfectly okay so then the first thing that you gotta make sure you have to do is this go to the device right here and whatever console or or pc as any system you're playing on make sure you go here once you're here you click it and then you're going to select where wherever you are going to be playing on right so let's say for example if you're going to be playing on the xbox make sure to select this one okay xbox one make sure to go always on this part if not then you could do everything else the rest good and if this is not the correct spot then it's not going to work right that's if you're on the xbox if you're on the playstation right on the ps4 ps5 make sure to click here but this one must be enabled this option right here must be enabled if you're gonna be on the playstation okay now if you're gonna do a uh, remote play this is gonna be for another video because i haven't done a single uh video on this one on the remote play and how it works but if you already know how, how this one works just make sure to always go here enable ps remote play to be able to play on this one okay this one you can leave it as is but make sure to put remote play but if you're gonna be playing on the uh playstation on the ps5 and the ps4 version make sure to click here and then do this one okay this is only for P uh playstation now if you're gonna uh if you wanted to work on the p on the pc make sure to click this one okay this is the one that works the best not PC mobile, not none of an auto, none of that. This one right here, Xbox 360, is the one that always works best. And this is the only one that I always have used, right? And this is the one that is always recommended. Xbox 360, and then it's gonna work for PC, okay? This one I have left it as is, and it doesn't, uh, it doesn't matter for me, it still works. But make sure this is selected. Now, once you do that, whatever platform you're on, you select what, what I already has explained it to you. And then here, for those people that play on mouse and keyboard, you guys have all the keypads in here to mess it up and stuff like that. Then after that, let's say if you want to use a game pack, right? Real quick. Boom. You get the game pack. This is really, really important here for it to work, guys. You have to copy whatever in-game settings you have. You must put it here any settings that you have in game you must paste it here okay so let me just go through it real quick if you play tactical on your game you must put tactical here um your trigger dead zone is automatically has to be zero because that don't that one doesn't even really matter right you need like the best response time for your trigger so you just put a zero in game and then you put a zero here then let me just go quick through it this i don't mess with this right here so whatever in-game sensitivity you have, let's say you play seven, you must put this one to seven. Okay, that's it. Then the dead zone, if you have a 0 0.05, this one should automatically be five. That's it. Then th this one, I keep a default because in-game is 99. This one is 99. So if you play on standard in-game, you put standard here. Or if you play dynamic in-game, you put dynamic here. But it must match. Okay, this one left it the same then one way to know that it is working all you have to do is this look there's a quick tip 
you want to go right here on the aim assist, right? Make sure to activate this one, right? Make sure to activate aim assist. And this is going to let you know if the mods, everything is working. Okay. So turn it on, then go right here to see how it says 15 value. Put it to like maybe 40. Once it's 40, make sure to um, close it out. Then uh, save right here. Save it. Always make sure to save it, guys. That way it takes effect. So what you want to do is once you do that, right, you put it to 40 intensity and go to the game and go to the game and try to aim in once you 80 S right. Once you aim in with your gun, it should make a fast circle on the screen that like your screen should be moving crazy fast. Like while you're ADS, -ing. if your screen is moving crazy, like in a circle mode, that means all your mass is active and then you can proceed and do anything else you know that's a way to know that it's working so then if once you know that it's doing that that it's doing that circle fast motion like it's moving on its own the whole screen then you could just want to put this to back to like 40 um to 15 you know the aim assist is pretty goes based on whatever platform you are so if you are on console i always suggest 18 to 20 okay and if you're on pc you could put it to 20 to 23 all right so yeah that's pretty much it and then after that once you know that the actual mod is working you want to just go right here and whatever uh gun you want let's say uh this one if it's hurricane then you kind of have to find the value you know left and right this is like you want to shoot a wall but if you don't want to shoot at walls and stuff like that if you don't have time to do that like i said i, I have a spreadsheet on my podia website so you can always go right there i'm gonna leave the link down below on the description and pin us a comment if you want to go over there and get the the spreadsheet that i have over there for guns and you could have my value so you have to use my attachment and my values okay that way you could be able to work now there will be a huge update coming up for season two which i will be releasing a whole new spreadsheet for all the guns and all the new patch notes with it so make sure to stay tuned with that okay and all the values are going to be there with the newest, um, most meta used uh, attachments. So all you have to do is just get my attachments and the value and it should work for you. All you have to do is just pretty much plug and play and whatever question you have, make sure to hit me up over there and I'll be glad to help you out if it is not working for you for any type of reason. All right. Anyways, guys, I'm out of here and I appreciate the support on YouTube. If I reach 100 likes, I'll put another video back to back tomorrow again, giving you guys more tips and stuff like that. Anyways, I'm out of here. Peace.